हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल अगेन सो टुडे आई हैव चोजन वेरी ओल्ड पेपर दिस इज फ्रॉम अप्रैल 2013 कैम्ब्रिज सेकेंडरी वन मैथमेटिक्स पेपर वन 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 टू जीरो वन फ्रॉम अप्रैल 2013 राइट यू नो द इंस्ट्रक्शंस फॉर दिस सो यू कैन सी द टॉप कवर इज बिट डिफरेंट बिकॉज दिस इज द ओल्ड पेपर but the syllabus was same and questions are also very useful so let's start so question 1 put a ring around all the numbers that are exactly divisible by 9 so now first of all you need to know like what numbers are divisible by 9 the numbers like it has the same rule that uh, number 3 have so if sum of digits sum of digits is multiple of 9 so then that number will be uh, divisible by 9 right so we have first 3 it's smaller so it cannot be 5 plus 6 it's 11 so it is also not divisible so 7 plus 2 it's 9 so 9 is divisible by 9 so one number is this we are going to put a ring around this so then this one is 9 plus 3 it's 11 so it is not so this one is uh, 1 plus 4 plus 6 6 plus 4 10 11 so it's not so let's check this one 1 plus 9 plus 8 So ten plus eight, it is eighteen. So eighteen is multiple of two. So that means hundred and ninety-eight is divisible by nine, right? Now next number two. And Jamie has sixty counters. He gives one by uh, three counters to Sam and one by four to Sally. So we have two things here: one by three and one by four. Two different persons. How many count counters does Jamie have? left so we need to see uh, how many counters were given first uh, to sam sam was given 1 by 3 of his counter his counter he has 60 so this is 1 over 3 times 60 so this means 60 over 3 which is 20 right now next is uh, who sally sally has uh, it was given 1 by 4 of 60 so that means 60 over 4 which is 15 so total uh, counters that were given total given counters is 20 plus 15 that is 35 so what is the remaining so remaining number of counters is 60 minus 35 which is 25 so our final answer will be 25 right now let's move to next question number 3 eric makes a sequence of pattern using tiles so we have pattern number here number of tiles he records how many tiles are used to uh, for each pattern number so you can see pattern number is 1 2 3 4 up to like 5 then we have gaps here complete the table we need to complete the table so now let's see uh, you see there is a shaded part here so that means there is a gap right so from here to here if you look it's plus 7 this is also plus 7 plus 7 so that means we are getting next term by adding 7 so 22 plus 7 it is 29 so one answer is 29 so there are two marks so you will get one mark if you Are correct here. Now next one we have fifty. So we need to check when we are going to get fifty. After fifth we have six term, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's go. Uh, fifth term was twenty nine. Let me write down here. Uh, fifth term is twenty nine. Twenty nine plus seven. Twenty nine plus seven. It is thirty uh, six. Thirty six plus seven. Forty three. Forty-three plus seven, it is fifty. So we need fifty. So when we are getting fifty, the eighth term. Uh, remember here, students mostly make mistake. They don't see this gap here. 
so it's not the sixth term it's 50th you need to work it out how we are going to get the next term right now next part b eric finds rule connecting to the pattern number and number of tiles right so p is pattern number t is the number of tiles so put a ring around the correct rule so let's see which one is working so first one is like p is 1 t is 1 if p is 1 if i substitute here p1 so t is also 1 so this is they, they are not equal so this is not our answer uh, t1 let's say t1 and p uh, sorry let's see how much t we are getting here uh, p is uh, 2 minus 1 this is 12 minus 1 which is 11 but t is 8 so this is also not uh, the third one t is equal to if p is 1 7 times 1 plus 1 it is 7 plus 1 which is 8 so it worked for this uh, for the first term so let's see we cannot decide just from one we have to check if it's working for the second one too and uh, so seven times two plus one so it is seven times two seven times two it is 14 plus one it is 15 so second term is coming 15 wait 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 i think i have made mistake yeah so here the first one when you are doing this one so you see when we substituted one our answer t is coming eight but t here it is one so this is also not the answer so we are left with this one so we need not to even check we can just put a ring around this but even for your knowledge so let's see seven times p is one it's six so seven times one is seven minus six it is one so it is working for number one so for two 7 times 2 minus 6 so it is 14 minus 6 which is 8 again it worked for the second term even third one 7 times 3 21 minus 6 it is 15 so this is our correct answer i hope you understood before we move to next question i would like you guys to request please subscribe to my channel it gives me motivation to make more videos for you guys okay so let's move ahead Number four, a fair spinner is in the shape of a regular hexagon. We have this regular hexagon here. Write a number on each section so that probability of getting an odd number is one over three. So we have six spaces here. So probability of getting odd number is one over three right so but we have how many sections here we have six sections here so that means it should be six here how are we getting six times two same we have to do up there so that means we should have two odd numbers out of these six so we can put two odd numbers remaining we can put any we are not given any limit like what number should i put so we can put any like let's say it's five and 7 I put two odd numbers now remaining I have to take even numbers 2 4 8 let's say 6 so that's it so probability of getting odd number is 1 over 3 now right now part B what is the probability of not getting an odd number probably you know that probability of an event then plus probability of not happening an event is always 1 so if the probability of getting odd number is uh, probability of odd number is 1 over 3 so not getting an odd number will be 1 minus 1 over 3 so we can take calcium 3 minus 1 which is 2 over 3 so our final answer will be 2 over 3 number 5 write down the value of square root of 96 so i hope you know uh, it's a direct answer actually 14 square but even then uh, let me tell you how we can do that 196 divided by 2 we are taking even number uh, sorry prime numbers only here 2 times 9 2 times 8 2 times 4 2 times 9 7 times 7 right so we make the pair of 2 so that means 2 times 7 which is 14 so our final answer is 14 right now part 6 work out the value of a so we are 
looking for value of a now you see we always look for the angles which is given now we are given these two angles there are two three method two methods actually so i'll show you one uh, so this is exterior angle if you see exterior angle exterior angle is always equal to sum of interior opposite so a will be just add these two 62 plus 49 uh, this is 111 degrees already written so this is our answer for part a now give geometrical reason for your answer now we have to put this reason here uh, what's the reason as i told you the exterior angle exterior angle of a triangle is equal to sum of interior opposite angles right please bear with my handwriting i hope you can read this exterior angle of a triangle is equal to sum of interior opposite angles so that's it number 6 question number 7 work out the temperature after each of these changes the temperature starts at 6 degree celsius and falls by 13 degree so 6 degree celsius minus 13 so 13 minus 6 is 7 right and 13 is positive uh, negative it will have negative sign right then the temperature starts at negative 2 degree celsius and it falls by 8 so 8 minus 2 it will be 10 so that's the temperature after the changes right now number 8 martin is playing a game the probability of winning is 0.3 what's the probability of not winning as i told you before probability of happening and event and probability of not happening and event is always equal to 1 so now probability of if the probability of winning is 0.3 then probability of not winning will be 1 minus 0.3 which is 0.7 so 0.7 is our final answer uh, number 9 and three students took a test uh, the test was out of 50 marks this is the total number of marks of a test uh, david scored 38 john scored half and susan scored as a code 72 uh, who is the highest now you see we are given marks in different ways we need to make it uniform so this is percentage we can write down in percentage like this is david this is john here and susan here so when susan she got 72% john is half of half of uh 50 half half marks means 25 that means 50% simply and 38 marks are like david has 38 this is out of 50 times 100 it will give us the percentage right so 50 times 2 uh, is 100 so now multiply this 38 times 2 8 times 2 16 3 times 2 is uh, 76 so which one is highest here 76 50 72 so this is the highest mark so who got david david scored the number 10 match each calculation with its answer right so we have two sides here we are going to match which one is correct so now this is multiplication by 7 times 1000 it is 7000 right so one decimal place you are going to put one decimal place so you are left with 700 so it will go here now this is 70 times 1 over 10 right this one zero is gone so you are left with 7 right now this is 700 divided by 1 over 100 so this is 700 times 100 over 1 when you change the sign from division to multiplication so uh, you take the reciprocal of the next one so there are four zeros with seven so this is here so that's it uh, number 11 this table shows some outcomes from the function x equals to x to 
uh, 2x plus 3 this is the input and output input is x output is 2x plus 3 so when you input x here so answer is 5 like 2 times x uh, 1 plus 3 is 5 so here it will be 2 times 6 plus 3 this is 12 plus 3 it is 15 right now this is 2 times 9 plus 3 18 plus 3 it is 21 that's it number 12 uh, this is a bit tricky not tricky actually you need to know how to uh, use the number facts here uh, look at the following equation so this is the equation given 45.6 divided by 1.2 is 38 use this information to write down the answers of the following so that means we are not doing any actual calculation we are just using this results you see numbers are same 4 5 6 1 2 so there was one decimal 38 so that means this decimal is gone so again answer will remain same right so 38 times so if you take this division to the side like see 48 5.6 divided by 1.2 this is like this actually so if you multiply this here your answer is 45.6 so as there is one decimal place it will remain one decimal place right now 38 times 38 times 12 it will be 456 right there is two decimal places one decimal place here one here so two decimal places 4.56 right so let's move to next question number 13 a cuboid has dimensions of 2 cm by 3 by 5 cm part of the net of cuboid is shown on the grid uh, complete the net of the cuboid so a cuboid has six faces you know that it should have six faces uh, so we already have four of them one two three four so we need to so see which one is missing so we have here this is uh, one two three four five this is five times two we have five times two from here five times two we should have five times three so this is five times three here this is five five times three so this is uh, two times five so we have two times five uh, yeah so this and this are parallel and this one and this one is parallel right so now we need another two parallel faces that should show 2 by 3 so we are missing this combination 2 by 3 so 2 is here uh, 2 is here so it should go here like this here please use ruler for this i'm just using it so this is the part that we have drawn here okay so that's it for this question this is just one more question because we have only a little to do here uh, so i hope you understood all the questions uh, remaining questions i will cover in the next video if there is any question you can let me know in the comment section uh, and please like share and subscribe with your friends if they if you like it then please share it and support by subscribing to the channel thank you so much god bless you guys